The annual Vietnam Korea Food Festival was first organized in 2008 and has since become a can't-miss event for Hallyu fans. The festival also attracts many sellers and buyers with its appealing booth introducing trademark cuisines of the two countries. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Fine Cuisine. And I'm very happy to start the show off right here in this Korean food festival in Hanoi. While talking about Korean cuisine, you probably will go on about kimchi, pizza puff, uh, or barbecue. What about pantan? Uh, did it sound familiar to you? Well, a pantan is the very typical dish uh, which is can't be missed in any Korean meal, which is also our focus on this episode. But before that, uh, let's join me to this atmosphere in this festival. Held over two days, the festival is one of a number of activities celebrating the 23rd anniversary of Vietnam-Korea relations. Here, participants can enjoy typical Vietnamese and Korean cuisines like tteokbokki, kimbap, kimchi, bún cha, or grilled pork vermicelli, and the well-known Vietnamese noodle soup pho. It's no surprise that kimchi, the most common side dish of Korean cuisine, was the highlight. Just like the Vietnam, Korea is also rice is a staple food, and to eat the rice, the, we develop many, many side dishes to supplement rice eating. And the most unique thing is uh, kimchi. As you know, the Korean winter very cold, so we cannot grow any vegetables. Uh, by making kimchi and uh, consuming the kimchi during the winter, we can supplement the, our, the vegetable the, the supply. So the kimchi is uh, one of the most uh, typical and unique uh, banchan in Korea. Pantan refers to small side dishes served with cooked rice in Korean cuisine. Korean food is famous for an amazing array of Pantan recipes, which are made to accompany meals to complement and accentuate the flavors of the main dishes. The main categories are kimchi, namun, pokim, wet or dry, chorim, chim, and chan, among others. That's right. I mix with the, yeah, the pork and the, the green cup. If you are a fan of the Korean wave, such a festive occasion will leave you satisfied. In the 1990s, the Korean wave or Hallyu, which refers to the increasing popularity of a South Korean culture, came to Asian countries including Vietnam. It also brought a new trend of Korean cuisine here in the country. From popular Korean drama like Tae Chang Kum, we can see that Pantan plays an indispensable role in Korean food culture, from ordinary family meal to luxury restaurants. In the last 10 years, foodies and connoisseurs have been able to enjoy distinctive Korean cuisine in many Vietnamese restaurants. Among these, a set of complimentary dishes known as pantan has been well received. There are many types of panchan, 
Each has its own taste, which complements other dishes. Greasy accompanies non-greasy. Spicy goes with non-spicy. In this way, a diner can enjoy every dish. Panchan is essential to Korean meals. Koreans eat it together with rice. Panchan is very nutritious, thus good for health. Hollywood fans often find themselves sitting comfortably in a traditional Korean restaurant. เวลาเราเลือกเราคงโตยนี่มันจะหางกัวก็ Panchan complements the main course, which is rice. Panchan is very diverse and each ties as nutrition. The ties of Panchan are seemingly endless, and each region has its own ties. There could be up to 30 Panchan in one meal. Well, you can see here, there's a lot of food and more specifically, a lot of hantan. It can be extravagant with many dishes spread out on the table, or it can be very simple, which is a bowl of kimchi. Well, it's still a little bit spicy for me, but I think it's worth it. Today, I have the chance to meet with Chef Hui, the chief chef of Bunga restaurant in Hanoi. Well, if you want to make a Korean dish, you have to choose the right ingredients. And that's why Chef Hui here will take us to a Korean mart uh, to choose the ingredients uh, to make hantan. Anh Huy, thì hôm nay chúng ta sẽ chọn nguyên liệu như thế nào nhỉ? Hôm nay chúng ta sẽ chọn một số nguyên liệu vừa cho làm ban chan, ví dụ như thế là món kho thì có củ sen kho còn món rau xanh có thể là một số loại rau xanh như bó xôi hoặc là cái cúc còn món nam môn chẳng hạn thì chúng ta có thể lựa chọn món giá đỗ giá đỗ tương để làm vâng vậy thì bây giờ chúng ta đi thôi nhỉ Korea is an agricultural country with diverse and rich sources of produce, especially pantan, with its abundant array of vegetables those dishes are called namul in a Vietnamese mini mart like this one, you can find imported Korean ingredients to add just the right taste to a Korean dish. While Korean cuisine or hanshik often varies from region to region, certain ingredients are found in almost every dish. In fact, most Korean food, especially side dishes of Pantan, include similar ingredients prepared in different ways using varied ratios. Spicy cucumber side dish or oe mu chim, 
Oin means cucumber, and muchim means a mixed or seasoned. So many people simply call this dish a seasoned cucumber. Many Koreans have their own version of it, so you'll find many variations from family to family. Today, Chef Lee cooks it with an authentic Korean taste. A tip for this recipe is to make and mix it just before serving, which will keep it crisp and fresh and prevent it from getting watery. It's perfect for summertime barbecue, refreshing and just spicy enough to give a little kick. This is a spicy, sweet, and tangy dish that's made with boiled sweet and fresh vegetables. Cucumber and radish are common vegetables in this dish. Chef Hui uses cucumber along with some aromatic vegetables in this recipe to keep it simple. Radish season is coming up, so try it in this dish for an added crunch. The perfect blend of spicy, sweet and sour tastes in this dish will surely increase your appetite. Spicy squid salad or uchinga muchim. Vietnamese and Koreans both love tofu. This is also a great dish for vegetarians. Spinach tofu salad. Together with three different kinds of salad, Chef Hui makes some as a pantan. Every day, Chef Hui and his assistant make no less than 20 pantan to serve. The pantan menu changes every day, depending on ingredients in each season. Look at these little bowls. They are eaten with rice or the main dishes to complement their flavors. They are complementary, but they are also essential. The most common pantan is, you guessed it, kimchi. Every meal in Korea has kimchi. 
But if you don't like it, you don't need to keep it on the table. There are plenty more pantan to choose from. As you can see here, pantan are often served in small portions. And you know why? Well, I think just to impress the customers, so restaurants usually served uh, in larger quantity. And um, there are so many types of pantan, but kimchi and seasoned vegetables are often make it on the table. Ah, there's one more thing you should know. While well, pantan often served in odd numbers. Is this right, uh, Mr. Chung? Pantan uh, for Hàn Quốc thì uh, vừa của Chua Sơn thì là uh, khoảng 12 ban chan và uh, nhà bình thường gia đình thì là khoảng uh, 3 ban chan, 5 ban chan nhưng uh, ngày lễ là có thể là 7 ban chan, 9 ban chan nhà quan chẳng ăn À, có thể nhiều ban chan nguyên liệu của rau này à, khoai tây này đậu này là có à, mùa việt nam nhưng à, các gia vị và nước sốt thì à, nhập từ hàn quốc Having seen and tasted the tasty pantan in the restaurant, I want to make it myself, so I visit my friends and they will show us how to make one. Vân and her husband, Mr. Yoon, is one among many Vietnamese Korean families living in Hanoi. Her children, Chi Su, 9 years old, Young Un, 5, and Young Sun, 15, can speak two languages fluently. Every day after work, Vân makes a Korean meal, so her husband and kids can taste the hometown cuisine, though they live a thousand of miles away. Chị sẽ dạy em làm cái món bùn cô kia trước ừ. nha Dạ vâng Chị cho cái này phân nửa nước đường ở đây không? Dạ Đúng rồi đi tỏi Bùi cô kia is one of the most popular dishes in Korean cuisine and is an easy recipe to make at home While waiting for the beef to marinate, we're making some pan tan Rau này là... Rau này là rau lây thôi Sweet potato steams namul, or seasoned vegetable, is a popular pantan in Korea. Fresh or dried steams. This one is made from fresh steams with a pleasant, seasoned vegetable taste. First, Van boils the vegetables. After they are quickly boiled, the steam are cleaned under water to keep them crunchy. Next, the water needs to be squeezed out of the veggies. Mix it with samchang, a special Korean sauce, sesame oil, and sesame seed. Yeah, I can taste uh, the sesame oil really clear here. It's really tasty. Along with a sweet potato steamed namul, Van also makes a kind of namul with a soybean sprouts. Mm. 
Also now, uh, we will make another pantan and I will try to make it myself and Sivan will show me how. And uh, you can see here, uh, this is uh, looks uh, looks like bean sprout, but actually it's soybean sprouts and you can see it's uh, it's bigger and it's more crunchy. So I'll try it now. This dish is called Kong Namui. It is a traditional vegetable side dish widely enjoyed by Koreans. It's great with any meal. You can make the dish non-spicy or spicy. The spicy version is particularly delicious. I didn't know that I can uh, make a Korean dish by myself. Also, this is the first pantan ever made by myself. Um, I didn't know it, it's, it's kind of simple, it's not too difficult, so I think you can try it yourself too. But first, I think I will have to uh, even taste it and judge how it is. Chị ơi, chị thử xem là cái này em trộn theo công thức của chị thì đã đạt tiêu chuẩn chưa nhé? Chị thì thấy chị là vừa rồi. I think I can open a Korean restaurant by myself. <laughs> Koreans are very proud of their food and they like to share good food with good people. Today, Van not only cooks two pantan for us, she treats us to a delicious traditional Korean meal. I wanted to write all the recipe down in a notebook so we could cook the dishes at home. If you have a Korean friend, Tell them the same thing. Chances are you'll be invited to the house for a home cooked meal. Home cook always tastes better. Take the chance to enjoy. Pantan are set in the middle of the table to be shared. At the center of the table is the secondary main course, such as bulgogi and a shared part of chige. Usually, uh, the more formal the meal, the more pantan are served. If you really want a happy and healthy lifestyle, take the challenge and eat Korean food three meals a day. Let's start with some pantan. During weekends, if you have time to cook for your family, you can make three or four pantan. For some variety, try these different flavors. Kimchi, seasoned vegetables, steamed eggs, and stir-fried tofu skin. Well, this is the result from my first try on Korean pantan, and of course, with the help of Chi Van. Uh, it doesn't take long to prepare, it doesn't take long to cook, but it takes long enough to enjoy. <laughs> The communal lifestyle, heightened during the Joseon dynasty, made eating one of the most important times of the day in the extended family farm home and a royal court. The vitality of Korean family and communal life is at its peak during mealtime when Koreans enjoy time together eating their traditional foods. Well, in this modern busy life, meal time becomes very important for any family. It's the time for the members to share their stories after a long day. And so, meal time is the starting point of bonding and sharing with one another. And Pan Tan reflects all that spirit. My name is Huang, and this is Fine Cuisine.